present my screen. So we uh, we were discussing Makhit's uh, character of Makhit, and uh, we thought that we could uh, say something about uh, Makhit's character through his own confession, through his own uh, dialogues, and uh, we understand that he is uh, reprobate. He considers uh, women uh, to be foolish uh, and he makes sure that we understand him to be a philanderer we, we understand him to be a man of loose morals as traditionally uh, understood so let's proceed from uh, this end to the next important section ok so here it is Um, okay, so if music be the food of love, play on. So this is again, I guess, um, Makhit. Makhit is saying some hopes. Sorry, I was uh, mute. I'll just uh, repeat what I just said. So, this is the part that I marked as uh, important and this is again Makhit's uh, lengthy dialogue and uh, Makhit here as you can see is quoting from Shakespeare. Can anybody tell me uh, from which play is this line uh, quoted from, taken from? If music be the food of love, play on. Sir, twelfth night. Twelfth yes. night. Yes, yes, twelfth night. And who says this? Whose dialogue is it? Orsino. I mean, yes, Orsino. Because Orsino was in love with uh, Olivia. I mean, or or so he thought. But Olivia was mourning for seven years. The death of uh, her brother and here Makhit is the complete opposite of whatever Orsino stood for however there is a uncanny similarity between Orsino in Twelfth Night and Makhit in this play both are deluded both think that they are doing what they want to do both are uh, both think that they are in love but they actually change their uh, preferences at the literal drop of a hat I mean Orsino who was singing and uh, who was uh, very much in love with Olivia fell, falls in love with Viola, the moment he realizes that Viola is, uh, I don't, I, I can't recall uh, the male name that Viola had uh, disguised herself as, but I mean, he falls for uh, Viola. And um, there is a similarity in that. However, Gay, this is not the first time that Gay is quoting Shakespeare or Gay is uh, nodding towards Shakespeare or towards uh, Shakespeare's uh, plays. However, bringing in Shakespeare is done for a very specific reason. Um, Shakespeare, by the time Gay was writing, Shakespeare had already become a symbol of um, the elite. It was 
often the the elite it, it was often the higher class people who would understand uh, shakespeare common people laymen will not understand shakespeare and that is what was established by the time gay was writing however even when gay was writing uh, people like uh, jonathan uh, sorry uh, samuel johnson did not have many good things to say about shakespeare and perhaps that is something that makes gay like shakespeare because there was some kind of a tension between gay and johnson yeah cesario yes cesario was the name viola had uh, appropriated to disguise herself as a male uh, person okay so um he is in a brothel he is in a chocolate house as uh, mr peachum had said that the chocolate house and the gambling places uh where the undoing of mekhit and he is here uh, he is with molly brazen um suki and uh, other women mrs uh, slamekin all these he is having fun with all these uh, women ayashi korche jeta ke bol he is an ayash and he is uh, you know he is indulging in drinking and uh, shameless uh, debauchery and yet giving a twist to the character gay makes him quote shakespeare that means he is educated also because in order to read shakespeare in order to know shakespeare not in the elizabethan time but in the Uh, neoclassical age in the neoclassical time in 1728 you must be i won't say well read but well read but you must be at least a person who has a habit of reading as i said shakespeare had climbed onto the ladder of hierarchy and had become canonical by by 1728 even if there were detractors against him shakespeare was an established force and to quote shakespeare and to quote him right because there's nothing wrong in this if music be the food of love play on if it had been misquoted then we then we could have had ridiculed macheath but macheath does not misquote the quotation misquote the line and says as it was this shows a shade of macheath's character which you should mention in your uh, texts this shows a shade of macheath where we understand him to be a smart person an intelligent person who reads his shakespeare i mean anybody who knows about shakespeare once upon a time was considered to be very smart not anymore but there was a time i mean perhaps even when we were uh, undergraduates uh, shakespeare the no- knowledge about shakespeare was considered to be one of the hallmarks of a lover of literature or a student of literature uh, not anymore though but once upon a time it was so. let's move on to the next important section it seems here uh this is M- mrs quacks she quacks people she seduces people see how uh perfect her name is how indicative her name is so i have just marked this word 
and he's and she says i carried a silver flowered youth string and a piece of black padisoy to mr peachum's lock but last week padisoy or padisoy padjuski padjuskai pad padjuskoi i don't know how to pronounce it it is french uh is a luxurious strong corded or gross cross grain house it cross grain uh, silk textile that originated in early modern europe the term uh, paduasoy first appeared in english among this request they would be uh, so i guess this is some kind of a fabric because these uh, thieves are d- just doesn't steal uh, money or gold coins or watches or uh, other uh, things like that they also steal uh, costly clothes handkerchiefs so um, this is one of the handkerchiefs that uh, mrs quaxer another thief uh, carries carried to uh, mr peach as a as a uh, exploit as a as an article of uh, stealing next brazen i guess this is mrs brazen she is very bold to cheat a man is nothing but the woman must have fine parts indeed who cheats a woman so here we find we, we get something to chuckle and the ladies might be very uh, satisfied with um, this dialogue by mrs brazen that it is very easy to cheat a man men are born fools i mean there is no uh, gallantry there is no bravery or there is you do not display a lot of your gray matter as a woman if you can cheat a man a man is always ready to get cheated especially by a woman but a woman must be very intelligent to cheat another woman so the species uh, is the gender is itself very intelligent it's itself very clever and they can easily cheat any man but in order to cheat a woman a woman another woman needs to be really very um intelligent because it is usually said that men understand men and women understand women but i guess men do not understand men or women Uh, but women understand both men and women uh, but this is some kind of a stereotype which uh, we should not uh, indulge in but this is mrs mrs brazen's words and mrs brazen thinks like this next um this is an anti feminist rant by mrs quaxer let's see what she says now that is a command of the passions uncommon in a woman so women according to mrs quaxer cannot control cannot command their passions very well of course this is anti feminist and this is uh, something that m- might have had been used as a balm as an ointment on the burn that uh, mrs brazen had caused on the male audience their ego might have been hurt and in order to assuage uh, the hurt ego of the men in the audience mrs quaxer is saying something that you know makes them smile and makes them laugh thinking that women cannot control their passion and the women do not have any command over their uh, passion which again is a very stereotypical thing to say uh let's move on to the next pichams dialogue the greatest heroes have been ruined by women now this is a classical allusion of course uh we have many examples uh, from the bible and from the classical texts where where uh, the, the destruction of a man is often uh, brought by a woman um can somebody tell me one such example either from bible or from uh, greek classical literature or roman classical literature or for that matter sir iliad yes 
what happened in iliad iliad i don't remember the name of that uh, woman he brings her to troy or something like that helen ha uh -huh. yes hmm. yes and what happened then she was brought to troy by paris then uh, the war takes place for that woman only this is the central reason woman is the central reason over here i don't remember the story actually yes i mean that was the story that paris elopes with uh, helen and uh, agamemnon's brother menelaus who is the husband of helen uh, complains to agamemnon agamemnon is the ruler of greece and other places and he attacks troy but actually agamemnon always wanted to attack troy and any indian examples sir mahabharat yes. mahabharat what happened in mahabharat that the disrobing scene of draupadi is seen as hmm. the main reason of uh, the war uh, yeah but the war happened anyway i mean the pandavas were not even interested in taking revenge they were like happy with five villages which uh, uh, being an asshole uh, uh, what, what's his name uh, durjodhana duryodhana never gave it so if duryodhan had given those five villages to the pandavas then perhaps the war of mahabharata wouldn't have had taken place so anyway i mean a woman is always blamed for anything that goes wrong on the epic scale like why did ram go to uh, Shri, uh, lanka and uh, kill ravana because ravana uh, kidnapped sita okay fine this is something that is a narrative like it was eve who ate the fruit of knowledge and not adam first and then in order to accompany eve bechara adam ate the apple what sacrifice so uh, mr peacham brings in this allusion there are thousands of allusions like this i mean samsung samsung in samsung agonistus it was supposed to be a text in your uh, syllabus but it was taken away uh, not too interesting but uh, i'm just giving an example that he is his hair he, he all his strength was uh, in his uh, hair and uh, what 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 was the name mm, the woman he got married to uh, delila delila cut Samson here made him a ganja and thus Samson lo lost all his power so Peachum is trying to tell is trying to say that you know women are responsible for the ruin of many heroes and Mekhit is a hero and Polly will lead to the ruin of Mekhit however the reason behind Mr Peachum's impeachment of Mekhit is not just Polly but the fact that he feels threatened by the rising importance of mekhit in his gang so that's there let's move on to our next important section here so this is a this is a soliloquy by whom uh, i don't know mekhit soliloquy maybe and this is an anti feminist uh, rant by maybe mekhit who takes a woman must be undone the basilisk basilisk is sure to kill basilisk is what what is a basilisk sir it's a mythical snake yes basilisk means snake so uh, women are branded as snake and now in our modern world any any of your ex is a snake whether it's a female or a male it doesn't matter if a person becomes your ex then that person turns into a snake and snakes are considered i don't know why but snakes are considered to be very deceptive and uh, they Uh, it, uh, it is usually understood that uh, you know they will betray you i don't know whether the snake even understands this concept of faith and betrayal loyalty and betrayal sir is, uh, yes sir i think this is due to the biblical reference of the serpent and i mean satan 
yes definitely definitely and as stupid as it is to consider a sneak to be either loyal or a betrayer it is equally stupid for us to consider that uh, women will betray a man or a man will betray a woman only because they are so yes there are some messages here rani says that basilic is a reptile who kills just by his poison or just by looking oh okay i did not know that and ishan says but this isn't just biblical a similar hatred of snakes is also found in greek and uh, roman mythology oh yes there is something about uh, i mean actually the greek and roman mythology influenced the bible the bible was written much later than the greek texts and the roman texts even in uh, but in but in hindu mythology even if snakes are feared they are not just feared sometimes they are revered also so i don't know where this shift occurred why it happened uh, there there could be so many reasons anyway so a woman is often called a snake because uh because there is no reason it's just stupid and we think that uh, you know a woman or a man possesses a lot of poison in their hearts and they can strike at any time so that is what makhit is uh, saying that uh, because he is caught uh, by the authorities uh, because uh, mrs mantrap and other people uh, have trapped him and that's why he might be saying all these things uh next okay you see it's the pleasure of all you find men to insult the women you have ruined of course this is something uh, that is very common uh, where men call names or insult women whom they have ruined and thus they know that the woman is so and so otherwise how would a man understand or how would a man know that this person uh is uh of a moral of a of a shady moral nature or a shady moral character lucy complains that first men ruin women and then they go about sharing the mms or the screenshots or uh, the videos or they threaten uh, their exes that they will you know circulate the video on the net and, and so on and so forth um this is something i mean lucy does not belong to the uh, criminal uh, to the substrata of the criminal in in england and she falls for mackie just like any other person who belongs to the criminal underworld however her intentions are different and she is um she is a different sort of a person unfortunately we did not have enough time to go into the intricacies of the character of uh, lucy but lucy seems to be as the name suggests lucy seems to be a beacon of light in this mud hole in this in this play comprising only of uh, prostitutes commissioners I mean, commissioners in the sense that one who gets commission, not not the police commissioner or anything, uh, or or highwaymen and thieves. She is a uh, she is the only uh, sane person in the whole gang. I mean, gang of the performers, not the gang of Mr. Peacher. Next, uh, Makhit says it's true. I go to the house, I chat with the girl, I kiss her, I say a thousand things to her as all gentlemen do, but mean nothing. 
to divert myself now lucy confronts nekhit and says that uh, you know you are married to her uh, you brute you cheat you dog and nekhit says are na na it's not like that yeah it's true i go to the house i you know sometimes talk with her i kiss her and i say so many things to her as all gentlemen do sob chhele rai to erokom kore are eta kichui noy just uh, you know uh, small a passing uh, affair it's just time pass baby this is what mekhit is trying to tell lucy that uh, you know this is just time pass and uh, i was just uh, like you know talking to her and this is what all men say when they are caught cheating that you know i don't I, this, it was just like she encouraged me to talk you know she messaged me first and she sent me her uh photograph and and uh, i just uh, happened to send a heart on her um profile and so on and so forth but nothing has changed like whatever mekhit was telling back at that time interestingly all gentlemen do it not just men but all gentlemen of course uh, some of us might disagree and say that no it's it's again a stereotype and all gentlemen do not do this but that's up for debate let's uh, move to the next section pichem says in one respect indeed our employment may be reckoned dishonest because like all great statesmen we encourage those who betray their friends this is of course a political satire and uh, there is no other way i mean usually the business of thieving and smuggling and murdering is very honest but there is one way in one respect in which their employment can be considered dishonest because like all great statesmen like all great politicians once in one party then in another party and they call the other leader or they call the other uh, political uh, party to be the party of thieves though that particular person used to belong to that party from its very beginning and he himself had participated very heartily and very generously in all the thieving but now he is betraying his own friends his or her own friends and uh, all great statesmen all great politicians are often busy trying to blame someone else they do not want to take any blame on their shoulders they are always busy trying to blame someone else for whatever is wrong uh next uh, i don't know why i marked it um okay so uh, in this section uh, in page on page 55 polis says that where is my dear husband uh, was a rope ever intended for for his neck oh let me throw my arms about it and throttle thee with love why dost thou turn away from me it's polly it's thy polly it's thy wife oh so he says that uh, it was ever such an unfortunate rascal as i am so polly comes in rushing in order to save or so called save uh, mekhit because i think it was polly who was also involved in making uh, getting mekhit to the gallows along with uh, her father because i guess polly had understood that mekhit had cheated but i'm not very sure because we are in the middle of the drama and i think it was uh, much later that polly realizes and i think this is it is this scene where polly realizes that uh, mekhit had cheated on her and polly and lucy both have come together mekhit who was saying earlier that you know i just divert myself to khela kori to moja kori and now polly is saying that it is thy polly it is thy wife and lucy uh, takes it very seriously and lucy is of course very angry of course this is 
an unfortunate turn of events for uh, Mekhit that both the love interests, one supposed to be a wife, another supposed to be a girlfriend, are at the same place. This is a perfect comic formula for so many Bollywood movies, uh, which uh, which revolve on the theme of extramarital affair and stuff like that. Two people all at the same time, and this is another point of crisis in the play. One point of crisis was the marriage of Polly for the parents and now the parents are in a, the tables have turned and the parents are happy. The parents are uh, laughing uh, because Mekhit is in a sticky position and they warned Polly not to fall for Mekhit and now they are making this face, told you so. And that's what parents do, you know, in a situation. Sometimes they would be, they would try to dissuade you from uh, talking to a particular person or getting close to a particular person. You don't listen, and then the person cheats you or does something wrong to you, and the parents uh, would carry a look uh, as like, you know, I told you before, and you did not listen, so you should listen to the elders and uh, parents sometimes so let's move forward uh, okay here Peachum. sure all women are alike if ever they commit the folly they are sure to commit another by exposing themselves away not a word more you are my prisoner now so folly is being reprimanded by uh, her father and uh, she he is putting all women in a single category and saying that all women are alike they make one mistake and to and to in order to cover them they make a series of mistakes i mean this is common to all genders right i mean we try to hide our lives with more lies and ultimately the burden of the lies break open and what we call in Bengal as in Bengali as chodiye, chodiye chodiye gaise. so that happens with lies and that happens with uh, mistakes okay uh, then Lucy's dialogue that I could sooner bear to see thee hanged than in the arms of another now this is problematic this is a dilemma with which uh, many of us uh, might have faced in our uh, lives where we are where we have to make a choice whether to let go of the person whom we were in love or so called in love or to, to keep holding on to the person and make that person suffer or in jealousy should we give up should we um, uh, should we allow a person to die to lose uh, rather than to lose the love of that particular person and the reference is here of the lady and the tiger uh, story where the lady was ready to uh, you know let the man be mauled by a tiger rather than him marrying another woman jealousy does this and this is some kind of a basic human behavior where it says that agar mera nahi to kisi ka nahi something like that does somebody have something to say is somebody unmuting to say something No? Okay. So here we find a understanding of uh, human uh, psychology where uh, people are more interested in possessing something rather than letting that person go or uh, we, we cannot, our ego stops us from thinking that, you know, people can stay happy without us. We think that it is only our love or only our company that could make another person live happily. But what if that person 
world would would be happier without you without us without a particular person we we do not want to recognize that let's move forward and this is i guess the final act act 3 um lucy dear sir mention not my education for it was to that i owe my ruin okay so education it is agreed by lucy that has led her to her ruin why maybe because education has given her more freedom and by being free she has mixed with people like uh, mekhi i don't remember if it were you to no it was it were not you so once upon a time it was considered by the indian in the indian society that uh, if a woman if a girl is educated in school or college or in higher educational institutions then that girl will lose her husband very quickly the girl will become widow and hence the parents were not very enthusiastic about sending their uh, girls to school i don't know who started it where did it start how did it start but it was there in the society and people really believed that if they sent their daughters to study the school they will end up being widowed very early in their lives and that was the greatest threat that a parent could face as far as the daughter is concerned back then so education was considered to be something that encourages especially women to become reprobates amader samaje onek shomoy erokom amra shuni to beshi porashona shikhe feleche mane when a woman asserts herself when a woman confronts her tormentors when a woman stands to stands up to fight against people who exploit her deprive her of her rights then she has to listen to this diatribe that it to beshi porashona kore feles and that is why she is not a tamed animal with her leash in the hand of her husband or father or brother and later her son but lucy is saying something very subversive lucy is saying that it's it's my education that has ruined me ami jodi eto shikkhito na hotam tahole ami babar dekhano cheler sathe biye kore nitam or i would have been uh, sitting home and i wouldn't have had mixed with people like mekhi because mekhi people like mekhi are outside the home they don't come inside the home to have a chat with you and it's 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 my knowledge it's my freedom through knowledge that i have meddled with people like mekhi um now this song is a little body this is something the pit the audience in the pit might have had enjoyed a lot this is something that uh, is equivalent to some bhojpuri songs uh most bhojpuri songs actually uh so uh this goes i was kissed by the parson the squire and the sort when the guest was departed the kiss was forgot <laughs> so this is very practical and pragmatic this could be the you know the motto of uh, sex workers of, after all raat gayi baat gayi do said in a very different context but this is what seems to be true in all cases and look at the profession of these people who are kissing the girl kissing the lady the parson the church person the squire the knight the the right hand man of the knight the squire the sort uh, i guess the sort is a very common person or any layman like anybody 
and all these guests they are guests they are not here for uh, lifetime all these when all these guests depart the kiss is forgotten the affection the love is all a matter of time with time love kiss sexual interactions and all of these things are forgotten and this is what gay is trying to say so many centuries ago that this is what is practical this is what is true and just after this age uh, i mean of, of course after the romantic age the victorian morality will spring back to life where these kinds of lines would be considered to be blasphemous these would be considered to be uh, anti religious anti christ and what not but back then england was more open about these moves more open than india is today yes something has someone has something to say here yes ishan go ahead yes ishan you can unmute and say and is there a specific reason that victorian morality is suddenly coming up uh yes because i am trying to make a connection with our present view of uh beggars of it i am trying to connect the relevance the present relevance of victorian uh, present relevance of what what gay is saying to the victorian morality which actually influenced the indian moral system because it was the britishers who had been uh, ruling us for so so long and uh, after the victorian after 1857 the rule was more formal and their uh, penal systems and codes were imposed on us and in indian society came to think that um these kinds of uh, relationships momentary relationships involving women and men uh, is something very irreligious is something very uh unethical that is why i am bringing up the victorian morality of course this is an age this is 100 years ahead of the victorian age but that is what the point is that you know england was quite open about uh, these ideas uh, than it later got to be um then lucy says when a woman loves a kind look a tender word can persuade her to anything and i could ask no other bride now this is sheer romanticism and uh, as i said that lucy is a uh, is made in in a different mold altogether lucy is not a hardened criminal like uh, the rest of the cast is and she thinks that uh, you know a woman could be easily influenced or bribed by being looked kindly at by uh, being persuaded uh, by a kind words however i personally would think that this is not completely false but i would like to hear your responses on this particular line especially the ladies of course what is what do you think about this is this true is this false does it uh hold true even in our society today okay so ishan rephrases the question what i mean to ask is why is the victorian age so concerned with morality and religion all of a sudden uh that is a tough question for me to answer within a short span of time but i'll try uh meanwhile 
let's have a vote here if you if especially the women the ladies present here if you believe that what lucy says is true give a thumbs up if you don't give a thumbs down you can do it from your reactions okay to try to answer your uh, question why were the victorians so very interested in morality and religion hmm uh ishan i don't know where exactly you live but did you enjoy the shower last night not the artificial shower the rain mm -hmm. do you think that it was something very refreshing and we all waited for this thing to happen right why heat yes too much heat unbearable heat heat wave heat tsunami whatever name you give it we were deprived of um of a of good weather we were deprived of rain and that is why we wanted it so badly we we are clutching on to the memory of this rain for a very long time now and we have made so many facebook posts and so many people have recorded uh, the rain and uh, so many people have uh, gone out uh, and have romantically drenched themselves in the rain and the acid that came with it especially if you are in the city we <coughs> we tend to hold on to something that we are losing in the victorian age women especially with whom all morality is concerned with men are not concerned with morality it is only the women who are responsible for you know maintaining morality so uh, and i said that in an ironical way so uh, the women were asserting their rights the women were saying we are human too we need to go out we need to get educated we need to have property we need to we should get the freedom to choose our own husbands or at least our lovers if not husbands i hope you get the irony of it men the guardians of the society the self appointed guardians of the society thought that the women are slipping from their hands and that is why they should do something about it they should brainwash they should uh, make a pogrom they should make a propaganda that you know women should behave in a particular manner and i don't know if you know already there were like books volumes of books thousands of pages in which how to behave for women were prescribed a woman should behave in a particular manner a woman should laugh with her hands on her mouth so that so that her teeth could not be seen a woman should not laugh out loud and there were so many strange reasons given for it and the women were still not listening the women were saying stop this you know, bullshit we don't care what you write in a book and then they involved religion in it are god has said so you don't believe us look at look in bible he weighed the apple and that's you are responsible and you should be responsible because you, you are not responsible so we should take the reins of your life in our hands and so on and so so i guess victorian age was the age when the revolution had already began the women were asserting their rights and realizing that they are already losing 
the Victorian society um, established these rules of conduct, these rules of morality, and when, and in order to make some rule uh, applicable to entire generations and to an entire population, you attach it with the religion. Bhagavan Buddha, Bhagavan Papdi. Many, many of us might think that you know. Um, it is wrong to uh, to think about uh, another person when you are in relationship with one or when you are married because it is religiously wrong bhagavan shop dekhche but uh, in hindu mythology our some of our gods have like more than one wife or i don't know i mean uh, maybe not lord shiva or vishnu but uh, Indra, who was once worshipped, uh, had like many wives, or at least had two wives. I don't know. So uh, things were like like Krishna, he, like he uh, could do uh, Ras Lila, and if we do, then it's character Lila kind of thing. So uh, that I I don't know if I I won't say that this is the only reason as to why they were so bothered with uh, morality and uh, stuff like that. But they also thought that you know if they keep a high moral standard at least outside to show, then their civilization would be considered to be very, uh, very advanced. Joto bishi jama kapoor porbo. Ab osho the deshta aur thanda silo cha ache. Joto bishi jama kapoor porbo. Toto bishi bhodro. So that I think was again another reason as to why they were so obsessed with how people would appear and how their gestures will be, uh, so that their civilization could be considered the best of all civilizations because they were ruling over a large number of people, and they had to prove that you know they were better, and hence they had the right to rule over. And I'm associating post-colonial thought, post-colonialism, with uh, social engineering, with uh, social ideas. Okay, so I I don't know if I could answer you, but <coughs> that is what I think uh, is the reason behind uh, this thing. But uh, I guess uh, no one paid any attention when I said that you can give your thumbs up and thumbs down if you believe what. Um, uh, Lucy is uh, saying that uh, when a woman loves a kind look, a, a tender word can persuade her to do anything. Is that true? Is that false? Well, we will never know um, because you guys did not uh, participate. Anyway, um, let us stop here today, um, and we will uh, get back to this place again. However, uh, I have been. I mean, I was assigned three more extracts uh, from the Renesa uh, section to you, which I overlooked earlier. So um, I will be doing those uh, things with you um, uh, in our next class, that is uh, tomorrow. Okay. So, do you have any questions? Anything that you would like to ask from today's discussion or anything? If not, you may leave the meeting as I would do. Sir, I have a uh, <laughs> observation. Yes. Sir, you said in the class about the snakes and how we think snakes are uh, a symbol of evil or something. Mm -hmm. uh, I have read a book uh, called Sapiens. Harari बोले है. Harari बोले एक जोन तीनी historian तीनी Jerusalem में एक तो university professor and he says that this is uh, a symbol of fear like this is a genetic uh, memory of us that mm -hmm. from the time of uh, the cavemen and then the agricultural revolution and all that snakes mm -hmm. were always uh, associated with death because yes. snakes cannot be tamed and they do not have any memory of that being a pet 
তাদের সেই অত বুদ্ধিটা থাকে না সো দ্যাট ইজ হাউ আওয়ার কালচার অ্যাডপ্টেড দিস সিম্বল অফ স্নেক টু বি অলওয়েজ আ ব্যাড থিং অর এনি ওয়েল থিং রাইট এন্ড সো আর দ্য উইমেন ফর পিপল হু ওয়ান্ট টু কন্ট্রোল উইমেন বিকজ আ উমেন ক্যান নট বিকাম সামবডিজ পেট নিদার ক্যান আ ম্যান বাট ইউ নো সো দ্যাটস দ্য অ্যাসোসিয়েশন রাইট ইয়েস Okay, since uh, there will be another class, uh, Sneha, uh, quickly. Yes, sir. sir uh, you said earlier now that Macheath is quoting Shakespeare. Uh, mm-hmm. So we can say that he is learned. Uh, that means he has mm-hmm. read the text. But can we see in this way that maybe he has seen the play and not read the text. So can we say in this way that he is learned? Mm. Well, even if you want to watch the play being performed, uh, and to quote him directly and without any mistake uh could be you know um could be a sign of uh intelligence if not education maybe i will 